Hi guys, welcome back. So today we're installing Bilstein B16 coilovers and an APR ECU wrap on this B9 S4. So it's the non-facelift model. So it's got the three liter um, turbocharged single turbo engine in there. Um, so with the APR um, stage one remap, goes from about 350 horsepower all the way up to around about 450. Also an increase of about 120 foot-pounds of torque as well. Um, so we're gonna dyno the car standard and flash the APR stage one and then dyno it afterwards and show you what kind of power and torque gains we've got. Um, so not only that, we've got the Bilstein B16s um, here in front of us. So um, this particular kit is coilover adjustment as well as um, up to 10 click uh, rebound and compression. The rebound and compression are linked, so um, you can um, increase or reduce the stiffness of the suspension. Um, so it can be more sort of like fast road or road or, or track orientated. And then you can adjust the ride height um, to reduce or increase the arch gap to whatever you like. So I'm um, yeah, going to get these fitted, get the API ECU software and let you know what we think. We're back on the dyno, so we've flashed the APR Stage 1 ECU software and we've got a comparison behind us of the standard power as the vehicle arrives and then now the tuned power. So bearing in mind this is, I think it's about 31 degrees ambient temperature today and then about mid 40s inside the dyno. So obviously charge temps, intake temps are gonna be a bit of a problem to achieving like the maximum peak power. Um, so yeah, on this particular vehicle, came in running about 345 horsepower and they're at peak. And then at peak now, it's running about 377. And as you can see on the graph, the power sort of like starts to tail off at the end of the rev range. Logging, um, obviously all the parameters, you can really see the um, ECU limiting power due to the charge temps, which are upwards of sort of 60 degrees on some of the runs. After you do a couple of runs, runs at about 80 degrees. And obviously you have to pull out the ECU limits the power. So this particular car would really benefit from like a, an improved aftermarket um, intercooler to really see some, some good, um, or see like the peak power figures rather. But I mean, underneath the curb, you've still got some, some massive power gains. So the max, uh, maximum gain in the rev range now is about 80 foot pounds versus standard and about 30 horsepower as well. Um, so I mean, on a cooler day or on a day with um, an intercooler, this car will make much more substantial gains. Mm -hmm. 